Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Today we're chatting with David Yu from Ecomi. But before we get into it, I'm just gonna quickly remind you to tap that subscribe button. Hey David, welcome to The Dive. Hi Cassandra, thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Okay, so for our guests new here, could you share with us the high-level pitch for Ecomi? Yeah, so uh, it's pretty much a dream project been going on for four and a half years. So what we essentially wanted to do is to have create the world's most user-friendly NFT platform, uh, basically end-to-end uh, -end offering where from marketplaces, secondary, social, it has everything all in one app uh, and palm of your hand. So what is your background in licensing and what made you start looking into crypto? So I, I've been in the gaming collectible business for the past 25 years from trading card games to tabletop, uh, very traditional. Uh, a lot of the IPs that I work with or what I sell is very driven by licenses and branding. So with my years of knowledge in the IP industry, it's given me the access into a lot of these studios, contacts that I have built over the time. And what really got me into it was about four and a half years ago, me and my co-founder thought, wouldn't it be great if we could digitalize everything that I sell with the brands that I have in, in, the, in my retail business? Um, and really we discover more and more. And what you know of, of today, the NFT is uh, become a reality dream, really. Very cool. Okay, so for those new to the digital marketplace, can you tell us what digital collectibles are and how to obtain them using the VV app? Yeah, so it's very simple. The whole idea, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is to have mass market user friendly. That's number one. We really believe that collector and the fandom is a $370 billion market a year. And in this digital space right now, and gaming skins is sitting at 55 billion. And what we really wanted to do is to codify how a collector can think of a physical good. Now they can obtain that in the digital realm. Um, so very simple. Everything we do is a beautiful 3D random figure or a 2D artwork that you project it out into augmented reality through your phone. Users can easily uh, download the app in the iOS store and the Apple Google Play, and pretty much you're on the go once you set up your account. Everything transacts within the uh, app system. So it's pretty similar to the world of collectibles, only digital. Correct, yes. Cool. Could you walk us through how your token system works? So we, done a, we did a small crowd uh, funding in our token a couple of years ago. And the whole idea is to have the token that can be utilized inside the Ecomi, well, this VV collectible app. The token uh, base allows you to redeem, and we're opening that coming up, to redeem for the NFT collectible that we have. And the more, and, and it also, also every collectible is uh, buying, and every purchase is being made inside the app basically a token burn is generated at the same time. So the whole idea is uh, we do have a depreciate economy in our token system and the users uh, can bring in what they have if they choose to redeem it for an NFT, they can. Um, and also we, you know, we do regular um, coming up, we're doing regular buybacks just to take some more pressure off uh, what we have out there already. So how do you protect your users from counterfeiting? Uh, yes, so that's a great question. And this is something that the license source very insists on. Uh, as you can imagine, everything that we do is a 3D figure. Uh, we do not want people to able to download them and, and print it out in a 3D printer. So everything base, basically is encrypted. Um, so and one of the major part about the Fifi app experience is that every collectible that you own should be able to be projected out into the augmented reality section. 
So if the collectible doesn't allow you to project out the AR function, uh, you know it's a counterfeit collectible set. We it's out there. Ah, interesting. Okay, so on May 29th, you shared that you have chosen Immutable X as your technology partner. What were your key requirements in searching for a partner, and what made you choose them? We choose our partners in quite quite a few, uh, you know, things. Especially in the blockchain space, everything moves very, very fast. I mean, technology you see six weeks ago, someone could be a faster transaction. Um, you know, three and a half years ago, when we started the project, what we after is fast and very cheap transaction speed. But what we have found increasing from our supplier is quite specific. Um, immutable allow us to do a lot of other things. You know, the smart contract can add royalty preset in them, uh, we can single out, uh, we can pay, we can defy many functions in it. Uh, it's very fast B and the team behind it has a very uh, heavy background in the NFT space already with their uh, digital trading card game. The team has proven and track record that uh, this is something that they are passionate, the NFT space. So when we look for partner, apart from all that, uh, we look at the team members, we look at their past experience, but in this case, uh, they tick all our boxes in, in speed, eco-friendly, uh, the, the, you know, the zero gas fee for us, uh, and, and pretty much it's a hybrid uh, layer to Ethereum allow us to be anywhere immutable. So choosing Immutable X transitioned VV from centralized blockchain to Ethereum. What led you to this move and how are you dealing with its ecological impact and carbon footprints? Yeah, so uh, one, one of the key stakes is a lot of our licensors now wants to be part of this interruptible um, you know, environment. They, you know, a lot of them are coming up wanting us to really have our collectibles able to be sent in and out to other marketplaces, for example and allow, as I mentioned, some transaction fee to be collected put in perpetuity. And one, one of the other section, which I mentioned is the environmental, in, environmental impact. Immutable have a great, uh, as you understand, it's a layer two. Uh, so it's almost carbon footprint neutral in, in this sense. So how do you monitor the regulatory environment for the crypto space? Yes, um, well, definitely. Uh, our, our parts of business is still very, very innocent. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts going everywhere. For us, we continue to monitor each jurisdiction, um, you know, authorities, the new laws being imposed. Um, you know, there's many talks about, hey, whether NFT is a security or not. Um, we do have a, uh, you know, legal advisors out there uh, looking these out for us, getting definitions. Um, it, it is a very, very new environment, and I think there will be regulatory coming in one way or another. Uh, we, you know, and as part of what we do when we onboard people and some of the function that we're bringing in, we will be doing KYC when people are cashing out their gems into fiat. Um, so we're treating everything as if uh, everything is going to be regulated. Mm -hmm. So you recently announced that Marvel entered the NFT arena with Vivi. Apart from Marvel, what are some of the big brands you're working with? Yeah, um, yeah. Th thanks for asking that question. Uh, Marvel has been an exciting partner uh, to work with. Uh, it's been a long time making this deal to happen. And obviously with any of these property owners and big brain studios that we work with, uh, we, we are under strict confidential. So uh, until we announce it on our social feed uh, and our official post, I couldn't tell you much more. But what I can say is the world branding um, goes from you know, one, one industry to another. You, you, you've probably seen we also have done a drop with Jifongqi uh, a luxury brand in, you know, in cosmetic and handbag fashion. 
Um, so all these new brands are now understanding the emerge world of licensing and how to get and how to be connected with their audience uh, throughout the different social and different age group and NFT and this crypto environment it's, it's becoming very, very uh, hot topic for a lot of these licensors. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll just have to stay tuned and see what you guys do next. Thank you so much for joining us today, David. Thanks. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll be back again soon with more great content. So be sure to give us a follow.